This is unusual for Hamilton. Also, the wind is blowing from the south, and that's also unusual. So there's a light on, on the tiny house. We actually have a, a solar powered LEDs installed and they've charged up. But if you look in the distance, maybe I should wait till there's moonlight. There's a car over there or some type of vehicle, I assume. That might also be battery packed light. So there was a power outage, 3, um, 3 p.m., and it's 9 p.m. now. I assume this is also some type of battery powered. Some of these people might actually have generators, um, but you can see otherwise. It's very dark here. Apparently... So I'm going out to see uh, damage after yesterday's windstorm. As you can see there, it's uh, pretty substantial. And also just like a lot of smaller branches coming down as well. It was a big one. I don't know if this is a re related, but I assume it has to be is that uh, the canal is drying up. You can see there's fish swimming around in there. Um, and I guess that further on, that canal has pumps, and those pumps are out, so you can see there's a little bit of water coming in here from a ditch, but on the other end, we're dry. Um, I guess I will have confirmation of that when we turn the water back on, or when we turn the electricity back on. This was a pretty big tree fall, and luckily it looks like it glanced that house and didn't fall directly on it. Um, the main thing I'm looking for is what's up with the power poles. Um, so let's see as we go forward. Um, so I've seen a lot of minor tree falls and then one or two big ones. Another tree is out here, but the thing I came to see is this. Um, you can see that's a, that's a power line down. The poles aren't down, just the line. Um, and normally they'd probably get around that quicker. The thing is a lot of trees have fallen on other poles and other lines other places. And I'm not going to be a looky-loo and disturb things too much, so I'm going home now. I uh, just wanted to confirm what's going on. And among other larger things, it looks like my neighbor lost their fence. And I'm guessing the way they're laid out that it came down and then they moved it there from their house right behind me. Anyway, uh... So this is just a little look, kind of a video diary of what's going on. Um, this won't get uploaded until, of course, I have power back. So if you see this, you know that everything turned out okay.